Hey guys, this is Andre. Um, I wanted to quickly do a recording just to share with you something that uh, is really pressing in my heart and I, I wanted to put this in audio format so that I don't forget the, the information. But um, uh, as you, if you follow my Facebook, I'm, I'm in the process of creating a new video. And what I normally do is I, 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 I take, I just have basically a, um, a notebook and I create an outline for the video and I use this book um, in my studies when I study scripture as well. And as I'm, I'm creating this outline for this video, I go through scripture and I, and I really ask the Lord. I, I rarely make videos um, unless the Lord instructs me to and unless it's information that God wants to put out there. So you know, I, I haven't been posting a lot of videos like a lot of people put video logs up on YouTube every single day. But um, I only create videos when the Lord leads me to. And this is something I'm going to put up hopefully soon to share with you what I believe is very significant in, in terms of understanding you know, the rapture, the timing of the rapture, and the whole phrase, timing of the rapture, I'll explain why that is, you know, completely wrong in terms of understanding when this event will take place, because you attach time to it, which, when you study scripture, it says that you will not be in darkness, but it also says that, you know, this this is a festival that took place where no man knew the day or the hour when the festival would start, so, you know, in, in a sense, time was irrelevant in terms of this event taking place, and this is what I want to talk to you about in this new video. Uh, and also what the Lord has revealed to me uh, in prayer and intense studying, you know, of the Word of God. But not to deviate too much, I had I just came off the phone with my dad, and he basically told me a dream that I had. Now, now my my dad's not aware of the fact that I'm creating this video, that I'm busy with this video. So just to put that out there for you, that this is something purely uh, coincidental, as it seems it is. But you know, the Lord has a plan and a purpose for everything. But uh, he told me that he had a dream uh, where he was standing at a riverbank. And in this river bank, uh, in this river, there was a, a massive snake. And the only thing that he had in his hand was a notebook. And apparently this, this was my notebook, he said. And uh, this notebook had a hard cover. And on the inside of this notebook were notes. And he knew that, um, you know, in order to defend himself, he's going to have to throw this book at the snake to try and uh, destroy the snake, to kill the snake. But at the same time, he's going to lose the information, he says. And so he had to make a decision what he's going to do with this with this book, basically, because my notes were in there. And um, but you know there was imminent danger in front of him. He had to use the book. So uh, he said that in his spirit he felt to use the book, and he threw the book at the snake in the river. And the sharp end of the hardcover notebook literally split the snake's head uh, in half. He says in the dream, and he killed the snake with with this notebook. Now, I, I'll be honest with you, the only way that I can interpret this is the fact that what I'm busy with right now and the, the video that I'm planning and this notebook that my dad's apparently seeing, which he doesn't know, know that I'm using a notebook uh, in my preparation of this video at the moment, I believe that this information that's going to be in this video is going to be very significant in terms of understanding the timing of the rapture as well as understanding exactly what God meant when he said um, you know, you, sh you are not in darkness for this day to overtake you as a thief in the night, as well as the fact that Jesus said, look up for your redemption draws nigh. All these things are connected, and I'm going to show you scriptures uh, that's going to blow your mind in terms of understanding exactly what is going on. Because you know what? You can have a viewpoint of something, and you can really believe that that's the correct viewpoint until you get introduced to a different viewpoint. And then you can make comparisons, and I believe I've been studying scripture and what the Lord's been showing me has been very revealing, uh, to say the least, concerning the rapture event and concerning understanding the timing of this whole thing. Uh, and again, this, you know, I'll, I'll give you a little hint here. This, the rapture isn't time specific, it's event specific. <laughs> and when you understand that, that you're going to understand, you know, why it's so important to pay attention to God's prophetic clock, which is Israel. But um, I'm going to put all of this information in a video so that you can understand why this is so important, but I just wanted to share with you very briefly this, uh, you know, this dream that my dad had, and uh, why I believe, uh, you know, it, it, it is something very significant because God speaks uh, in dreams. You know, the Bible talks in Job how God comes and he speaks in dreams, and um, I really want to encourage you guys that you know I believe that our time is indeed very very short. I believe that you know this year is very significant. I believe that 2012 is going to be an interesting year. Uh, I believe it's going to be an eventful year and um, you know when you look at what's going on in the news and you're looking at Iran getting weaponized uh, you know before prop, uh, before the end of this year uh, you look at all of these other different things you're going to find some very interesting 
uh, scenarios taking place in this year. Uh, there's a lot of interesting information politically that's uh, you know coming to our attention. But um, I believe that God wants us to be ready and He wants us to be watching. And I want to encourage all of you guys out there that you know we are watching and we are waiting and we are praying and we are occupying the time that we have. And this is what I believe God wants us to be doing. And um, I just want to let you guys know that I'm praying for each and every single one of you, all of my Facebook uh, friends, all of the people that's called me, that's sent me hundreds of text messages, um, you know, as a result of our ad campaigns. I'm praying for all of you guys. And, um, you know, I believe that we need to be ready. We need to be uh, completely geared up and we need to have the full armor of God. And because this is going to be a tough fight, Satan is not happy with God's children preparing to leave this place. Trust me, he's been in heaven. He knows what it's like. And he's going to try and make you stay at all costs. So uh, I want to encourage you guys just to be ready to be waiting, uh, but also to be praying and to be, you know, we need to spend more time in fasting. We need to spend time in fasting. We need to spend time in prayer. And we need to really ask God to make us more productive in what we do for him. You know, not everybody's a great evangelist. Not everybody can travel the world preaching the good news of Jesus Christ. But you can speak to your neighbor. You can go and give out a track. You know, on a Sunday or put a track in somebody's windscreen wiper uh, and share the good news of Christ in that way. And uh, I believe that this is very important that, that when we occupy ourselves in that regard, you also have spiritual grat uh, gratification. You feel that you're doing something for Christ. You know, it, it may not be a lot, but it's something. And I believe that we have to try and at least make some sort of impact. And I believe this year, every single time that the Lord delays, you know, we have an opportunity to share the gospel of Christ with somebody. You know, I think back of, you know, the ads that we've been running for the last, you know, two months. And, uh, you know, my last estimate based on the numbers and the circulation of these papers, uh, about 20 million people had seen these ads. You know, that's that's based on my last circulation, based on the amount of papers that we ran in. 20 million people saw the ads that we've been publishing in the newspaper, which is like a giant trap telling people that salvation is only possible through Jesus Christ, which it is the truth. I had a lot of positive feedback and also some negative feedback from people that felt it you know the, the wording was too strong you know but it's the truth you know uh, so um i wanted to encourage you guys you know that this is this is not something that everybody can do but you can make an impact in people's lives next to you your neighbor your friend your your colleagues at work you know and uh, you can go out in the streets and give out a couple of tracks at least um you know maybe every saturday or every friday or whenever you, you have a, you know, a, a spare moment to do something that's productive for God. And I believe that that will spiritually strengthen you and it will really help you. And also you have to understand that God has to prepare his bride. You know, we're going to stand before a holy king. And when you study Daniel, when you study Esther, uh, all these people had to be prepared before they came before the king of kings. Uh, uh, sorry, before the kings in that time. And we are going to go to the king of kings. And I really believe that the bride of Christ will go through a preparation stage spiritually there will be a spiritual awakening inside of all of us before we meet the king of kings um, but you know not to let too much out right now i'm going to share all of this information with you in this video which i'm really uh, hoping to release as soon as possible i want to get all the information and i want to do my homework properly as i do uh, with all of my other videos and i want to present something to you that i believe will be an encouragement to you and will also be a tool that you can use uh, to witness to lost uh, sinners and to people that need salvation. May God bless you and thank you so much uh, for praying for me and for, for encouraging me and just for being, you know, uh, a brother or a sister in Christ to me and, and my family also. May God bless you and may this new year be a, a year full of blessings and may we be pleasantly surprised in this year, you know, by the return of our Christ, our Lord and Savior Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the only one qualified to be an all-sufficient Savior. God bless.